Hello, my name is Sid the Squid, and welcome to my Life in the Woods Minecraft series. We're going to be playing with the Life in the Woods Renaissance mod pack, which was created by Fedrin. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in downloading it. It's a really cool pack, and I definitely recommend it. So, you might be wondering to yourself, why I'm in a hole? Well, it's kind of a long story. Um... I hope you enjoy it. Here are my first couple of days in my new Minecraft world. My Minecraft world started as they all do, watching the world load in slowly and turning in a little circle while my computer struggled to load new terrain. After finding myself surrounded by the desert with the ocean on one side, I ultimately made the decision to head east. I started, as all Minecrafters do, by punching a tree. And then, I made a crafting table. And with said crafting table, I made an axe. And then, I made a pickaxe, as we all do. Maybe I should have made a sword. I picked up my crafting table. And I got started on my adventure. I picked up gardens along the way, which we'll use later to plant our garden. Got my first piece of coal. Super exciting. Super slow. I also got stone, which I can use to make new stone tools. And here I decide to make a pickaxe. I then took my boat, since I had explored all of this island, and I set out for a new island. Still trying to head east, keeping to the coastlines so I don't get too lost just in case I die. First thing I stumbled upon was a desert temple. And of course, this is 1.7, um, so the boats just break if they run into land, which is um, super annoying. Uh, usually if they don't break, sometimes they just kind of shoot out into the water and you have to go chase them down. Decided to be super careful in this temple, since there's usually creepers that like to blow you up. Uh, so I made some torches jump down, put torches everywhere. Not a dark spot in this temple if I have my way. And then I started digging. Once I got to the bottom, I broke that stone pressure plate so that no nasties can fall on it. Grabbed a sarasu sapling, some bones, prickly pear, a delnos del sapling. Got rid of that stone pressure plate. Oh, and then I got scared to death by a lizard. Named him Charles. Pecker sapling, some iron and emeralds in that chest. And we got ancient parcels, which I'm really not sure what those are. Kapara sapling. Charles and I were just chilling in the bottom. And then made my way back up. Don't worry, I did grab that iron along the way. I made my way outside, lighting it up as I went, only to realize it was in the middle of the night and I'm not wearing any armor. So blocked off that entrance, both sides and decided that I am now calling the Desert Temple my home for the night. I lit it up some more, just so that nothing would spawn in while I was hanging out. Realized I only had three cobblestone and could not make an oven, wait, no, not a furnace, a furnace, not an oven. So I went down, got more cobblestone, made said furnace, not oven, 
and decided to smelt some of that iron that I grabbed off camera. It was time to upgrade some of these wooden tools to stone. I made a stone axe and I made my first sword because I guess I will have to defend myself eventually. Grabbed my iron, which I think I used to make boots, but I didn't show it on camera. And then I remembered I had these ancient parcels, so I decided to click on them to see what they did, and a lot of them just dissolved into dust. But I did get one cedrum, 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 cedrum sapling. I'm going with cedrum. Charles made his way up from the bottom, and we had a good talk about, you know, life. And then as he was wandering away, I realized that temples had orange wool in them, which seems very strange. And I'm really glad that they've added terracotta to them. However, it's super helpful right now so I can make a bed to sleep away the night in my desert temple. I decided to grab extra just in case I wanted to make a bed while I was on the road. So with my little bed, decided I was going to sleep in the temple tonight. And then in the morning, we went on an adventure. So I packed up, and I left, and I found this jungle. It was quite a large jungle, and so it did make my video a little bit laggy as all of the leaves tried to load in. Um, you'll notice, right, yeah, like right there. <laughs> But I started exploring. I didn't want to fill out my um, inventory with too many flowers yet. Um, so you'll see I'll look at flowers, but I keep telling them that I'll be back for them. Grabbed myself some cocoa beans, though, so that we can make chocolate later. And then I did find some Kapoor tuft, which comes from jungle leaves, which can be used to craft wool and string, I believe. Here's more of the jungle. Even more of the jungle. It was quite large. At times, I thought it would go on for days. And here you'll see I'm starting to get a little bit nervous that this map is just jungle. As I'm running out of food, and I have seen no other biome. Still just jungle. We are in jungle forever. It's starting to get a little bit worrying that we'll never make it out of the jungle. And We'll have to make a jungle home, and I didn't really want to make a jungle home. I made a jungle home in my own survival world, so I ate the prickly pears that I was going to plant. My inventory is full of random stuff that I can't eat. Still in the jungle. Fell in a hole, but still in the jungle. I do finally spot something up on that hill that is not jungle and decide I must go investigate. Oh, and a pretty flower. We hear a very loud bird. It was kind of cool, kind of scary. I wasn't sure what it was. And then I bushwhack my way to the top of the mountain, figure out what that, uh, what that cobblestone is. And, uh, yep, yep, that's cobblestone. So a lot of chests are hidden under leaves in this mod pack, it seems, but so I started just busting out all of the leaves and all of the plants around to see if there's anything hidden underneath them. can see me pondering what the structure is and wondering maybe it didn't generate all the way. Maybe it was supposed to be a whole house. The world will never know. More leaf punching. Get that bush out of here. Punch that one too, just in case. Oh, 
and then I stepped on something. You can see I'm trying to figure out what it was. And then I realized it was the poison ivy. And then I broke the grass too, just for good measure. So then I decided, since I had no idea what this was, I was gonna start taking it apart. And that didn't last very long because silverfish came out and I jumped off the cliff. And they still chased me. So here I am, running through the jungle from silverfish. But enough about that. Hey, look, volcano. Maybe. Possibly. I decided to go towards it because honestly, it's not a jungle. So it has to be better than, you know, what we were in before. I investigated the cool blocks and then made my ascent to the top. It became nighttime as I was climbing all the way up, but I made it and it looks like it is a volcano. It's got the little kind of sad bit of lava. I looked over at the accursed jungle that I had been in for three days and then I slept. In the morning, I stared more at the jungle and how big it was and then saw kind of a cool little lake at the base of the volcano, but decided it was too close to the jungle for me to want to explore. I also checked, and yes, this is a volcano, even if it's one source of lava that's just spilling over the side of a large mountain. From there, I continued through the ocean until I found this really cool biome full of really tropical flowers. Um, and that's because it's the tropics. Um, it also has date trees or palms. I can't remember what they were. I grabbed some gardens to eat and I ate a raw Brussels sprout and artichoke, just like you do. There's avocado trees here, really cool plants. So I started to explore. I really like the hibiscus here. Um, I didn't snag any because I think my inventory is full at this point. There's also a little bit of a mangrove over there, which is awesome. And don't worry, there's more volcanoes. I started thinking to myself that this would be a pretty cool place to settle down. Mostly, I think, because it was not a jungle. Um, but then I spotted, out of the corner of my eye wait for it, a cute little fishing cabin. Super cute. So I went inside and I of course started just looting it. Found a lot of fish traps, boats, fishing rods, which will be really helpful later. Went upstairs, found some bread and some other sort of goodies, and then looked out and I saw the autumnal forest. So I grabbed one of those boats and I headed over. Fall is my favorite season, and so I really loved how this biome looked, especially that cool cliff on the, on the right. And there goes my boat. So I grabbed some sugar cane and started exploring. I really like the little orange marigolds too. Overall, this is a very pretty biome. And a great view of my little fishing shack. I don't know if I've mentioned, but I've decided not to kill animals in this series. There's a lot of vegan options that you can do instead. I think it'd be fun to explore them. Um, you'll see some of them later as I start gearing up more. Here I am continuing to explore the autumnal forest. It's of course surrounded by a jungle because 
why would we be able to get rid of get away from the jungles, you know? They're here with us forever. I found a maple sapling. I'm wondering if I can use it for maple syrup. I think it's from a different mod pack though. And then I found this cool biome. It's got jacaranda trees and it's called the Mystic Grove. I really like the blue grass. I think that's really cool. It also has, I don't know if I noted it, but it has magic trees and glow flowers, which are really cool. I didn't realize they gave off light until I broke them. But the sun was setting, so I decided to save adventuring for later. I went back home, made a strip mine, mostly to grab some more iron. Um, since I was running low, I had made myself iron boots before with the iron we'd grabbed um, from the desert temple. And then with said iron, I of course smelted it right up. Because I had to make the most important thing in this mod pack, which is, wait for it, an iron hoe. With said iron hoe, I began my homestead. I decided to settle over here in the autumnal woods instead of in the fishing shack. Mostly because I just really love the autumnal woods. They're very colorful and very fall. So I had found this little pond earlier. Um, I think it would make the ideal spot for like a little cabin. So I started by clearing some of the land. And then started my little tiny farm plot. Planted some of the gardens that I had gotten. Cantaloupe and winter squash, some okra, bell peppers, peas, some tomatoes. It's nothing big yet, but I think we're going to make it bigger. And then I decided that I really wanted a backpack. Uh, my inventory was getting pretty full at this point. So the way you get a backpack is you can either do leather or you can do jute. And I decided to do jute, which means that you break two tall ferns, you make bundle jute, and then with the bundle jute you go and you put it in the water. And it starts redding. And when it's fully redded, you can break it and it makes jute fibers. You need a lot of jute fibers to make um, enough to make a backpack, but with the jute fibers, you make burlap. I had to go get some more. Luckily, it is pretty fast. So I had enough to make my backpack so I used my burlap and I had also collected some dyes earlier, so I decided to make it lime green. And then the next thing I wanted to make was an antique atlas. These are really helpful for figuring out where you're going and where to go next. Unfortunately, I didn't have any redstone, so I decided to go and try to find a ravine that I'd seen earlier.
I couldn't remember where I'd seen it, but I figured if I just kept exploring, I would find a cave eventually. Although, I refuse to go back into the jungle. So, I just wandered through the mystic grove, admiring the plants as I went. I did finally find it, though. It seems to be at the edge of the jungle over here. It seems like a pretty good ravine. And then I noticed that there's some kind of pink flying things. I looked it up later, and these are pixies. Although at the time, I didn't know that, and I thought they might be hostile. I decided to go down into the ravine. I grabbed all of the resources I saw on my way down, including iron and coal. With the little pixies flying around making cute noises. I thought I was being super careful. And then this happened. I don't know why they don't make noises. I don't know if it's this version witches don't make their noises or if it's something to do with the mod packs, but that one really snuck up on me. And so I decide. Well, I decided to drink the healing potion, which doesn't seem to do anything. I don't think that it poison helps with that. And then I decided to make myself some torches and hide in a hole. I should note that I usually die to witches pretty often, so I was pretty sure if I left my hole, I would die. But I still got back out to continue exploring in our search for redstone. Being extra super careful. At this point, I'm looking at the pixies, wondering why they don't help me. Couldn't they just give me some health boost or something? I found another witch. Ran away. Debated hiding my hole again, but... Decided I would fight. I had a stone sword, so... Might as well. And then I decided to go explore the cave that she was in. And, uh, by the way, that is poison water, and you should not jump in it. So that was fun. I learned something there. I had continued my exploration and found this floating piece of iron more caves, so I decided to jump down there. Lighting it up as I go, hoping that it spawn. So far, I had only seen the witches and the pixies. Then, of course, another witch. I really don't like how silent they are. I think it makes it ten times more deadly. But, I left, went back towards my home. Waited till she had got all the way up and then decided to kill her. And of course she brought back up. So I jumped down there thinking I could take on two of them. And you really should hear the audio from me. In game, it's a lot of just me screaming. But then I decided if another one came, I was probably gonna die. So I dug a hole. And this is where we were at the beginning of the episode. So that's how we ended up in this cave. I found a jungle, found a very big jungle, 
found a desert temple. Met a lizard named Charles. And I've decided on a place for my starter home. If you've enjoyed so far, it'd be awesome to leave a like. Feel free to comment and tell me what you think I should do in the next episode. I'm thinking of building a starter base in the autumnal forest. I guess once I get out of this hole, that should probably be step one. And if you were paying attention, you may have noticed that there is redstone in the chest in the fishing shack. I didn't need to do this. I almost died for nothing. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.